In this tutorial, we shall be learning how to use data validation in Microsoft Excel. Data validation is used in Excel to make sure that valid data are entered in a cell. We shall be using this data as example. We shall be applying different data validation in each column in this product-based data validation exercise. The first is label number. Each product has its label number. I highlight the entire column by clicking here. From Data tab, I go to Tata Tools Group. Click on Data Validation. Now we have Data Validation dialog box. Click this drop down arrow. And since we are entering the product's label number, it will be a whole number. I click whole number. When you click this drop down, you will see some information. From there I select between. Since the label number is 4 characters, I put 1000 here and 9999 here. After that, click Input Message. This is where you put some necessary information about what is expected in the Label Number column. Under Title, put the heading of what is expected in the column. I put Valid Numbers Only. Under input message, I put, please put the numbers between 1000 to 9999. Look at the product label for the number. Next, I click Error Alert. This will only appear when the wrong data is entered in the column. Under Style, click the drop down to select the type of alert you want. I will use this Stop Alert in this tutorial. Under Title, I put Data Invalid. Under error message, I put, enter valid data please. Having filled all the fields, I click OK. Now when I click any cell in the column, we have this right up. This is the information we put in the data validation dialog box. If the person types an invalid data, this is what will happen. An invalid data warning sign will appear. Once you remove the warning sign, the invalid data you entered will disappear. If the right data is entered, no such warning will appear. The next is Amount. Most products have some cent fractions on them. Just like before, we select the entire column. Click Data Validation, as we are already in Data Ribbon. Click the drop-down under Allow. Select Decimal. Select Between. 
Under minimum, I put 20.01. Under maximum, I put 999.99. I click input message. Title, I put product prices. Input message, I put valid amount is between $20.01 to I click error alert. Title, I put invalid data. Error message, I put put valid product price please. Then I click OK. As I click any cell in the column, I get all the information about the column. I type the right amount. 20.50 If I put the wrong data, the error message will appear. I cancel the invalid data message. To delete the invalid data, I entered in the cell. Now I enter another valid data. The next is product's name. If you are running a supermarket definitely, you will not be selling only one product. Having that at the back of your mind. We can use the data validation that will provide a drop-down menu of all the products in the supermarket. Highlight the entire column. Click Data Validation. Select List from drop-down under Allow. Under Source, click this arrow. Select where you saved the list. In this tutorial, I saved mine on the next Excel sheet. I click on the Excel sheet. Highlight the products. Click here again. Go to Input Message. Title, I put product name here. Input message. I type, please select product from the list provided. Error alert. Title, I type, invalid data. Error message, please select a valid product name. I click OK. From this arrow, you can scroll to select any product. 
I select these ones as example. Once done, hide the sheet too with product names, so no one will mess with it. The next is date of production. In this tutorial the date should be between January 1st, 2022 to January 31st, 2023. Highlight the entire column. Click data validation. Select date from drop down. Start date, January 1st, 2022. End date, January 31st, 2023. Input message. Title, enter valid date. Input message. Product date should be between January 1st, 2022 to January 31st, 2023. Error alert. Title, invalid date. Error message. Please enter the correct date and correct format. I put in some dates. Next is time of sales. Sales time should be within the organization's work hours. Highlight the entire column. Click data validation. Select time from drop down. Select between. Start time 8.30. End time. 1700 hours. Input message. Title, enter sales time. Input message, please use 24 hours time format. Error alert. Title, invalid time. Error message, please enter the correct time of sales.
I put some examples. The next is sales employee names. I highlight the column. Click data validation. From drop down, select text length. Select between. Minimum, 4. Maximum, 20. Input message. Title, put your name. Input message, put only the name used on employment. Error alert. Title, invalid data. Error message, please put correct name. I put some names as example. I hope you have gotten some value from this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a like. Subscribe to this channel. Click the bell icon so YouTube will notify you once I drop a new video. Do share this video with family and friends. Have a great day.